Kerrigan, you want to come join me? Take your coat. meeting of December 20th, 2022 to order. Perfect. Please rise and join us with the Pledge of Allegiance. Kerrigan Sullivan is going to help lead us. So come and face the flag. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Yes. I'm sure they'll have some suggestions for you later. Okay, please remain standing for a moment of silence to remember those who served our country in the past and for those who continue to protect our country today. Thank you. Please note the emergency exits of the door you came in and the door behind us. We'd like to invite the recreation director, Danny Plastini, to come up. She's got some awards to hand out for the winners of Light Up Beekman. Hi, everybody. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone that participated in Light Up Beekman. Unfortunately, Mother Nature did not cooperate with our first annual motorcade this year and nor did she want Santa to come visit Beacon Road. But that's okay, we'll try again next year. Um, there, are a lot, there are some things that I can control, unfortunately the weather is not one of them. Um, if you haven't had a chance, you should please take a ride around town and see all the wonderful decorations. The houses are beautiful and um, we were very lucky to have such participation. I want to thank our maintenance department, Andrew and Art, for a decorating the rec park for everyone's enjoyment. Please take a ride around before you leave tonight and see the cool decorations we have going on. So we had uh, 13 participants. We had uh, the ABBA family at 20 Gabriel's Path, Liberty Lights at the town uh, library, Historical Beekman's house on Baker Road, Magical Main Street, which was several of the houses on Main Street, the Dawson Residence on 29 Leo Lane, Best of Duncan, which was on 30 Duncan Road, found a way to make his wife accept his tractor addiction, which was 24 <laughs> Duncan Road, Crazy 8 Ashby, which was Ash 8 Ashby Place, the Christmas Parade was 81 Allery Road, Santa Babies was 5 Gabriel's Path, Christmas Wonderland was 37 Palmer Circle, 59 Sorry. Lost my 59 Carrot Gold was 59 Gold Board. 10 Buyer Lights It Up was at 10 Buyer Drive. And Griswold Approved was 14 Bow Lane. So without further ado, can you help me give up? Start with the Yep. Thank you. The winner for the 2022 Light Up Beacon Contest are, uh, no, I'm sorry, the other way. This one? Yep. Okay. Most original is going to go to the Dinkins family, which is the best of Duncan on 30 Duncan Road. <laughs> Brightest Decorations is going to the Dawson family, which is 29 Leo Lane. Best DIY decorations is going to the Gleason family. Found a way to make his wife accept his tractor addiction. That was 24 Duncan Lane. And best overall is going to the Sullivan family. Griswold approved, 14 Bow Lane. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks so much for participating. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone again who participated, and I hope we have more participants next year. Wishing everyone a happy holiday season. Looking forward to a wonderful 2023. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank Danny for working so hard for on a variety of. Um, programs for the holiday season and as she said unfortunately the uh, weather just didn't um, cooperate in any way for her so we're hoping um, to try again next year and we have some um, plans for bringing some of the stuff inside so that the weather doesn't uh, impact us so, so much so with that um, I'm going to start going through the agenda items the first one is the approval of our minutes. The second one is uh, renewing our membership with the New York State Municipal <coughs> Workers' Compensation uh, Elite, uh, Alliance for Workers' Compensation Insurance. And um, it's decreased from last year by $1,476. So the premium annually for it will this year, and we're going to do it for two years to lock it in, will be $45,373. Uh, resolution number three, we're adopting um, the town budget prep Duration and administration policy. We've been doing this every year. We're just formalizing it and making it a policy um, moving forward. Uh, we're designating New Year's Day a holiday for 2023. Our reorg meeting is not going to be till January 10th, so we need to um, plan for that holiday prior. Resolution number five is our uh, certification for payment number three for the Gardner Hollow Bridge project. Um, it's complete with the exception at this moment with guardrails are still needed and we need to make sure that the seeding takes effect um, and grows in the springtime. But other than that, it is um, complete. We have the application and certification for payment for the fencing for Rec 1 ball field project and that's coming pretty much. Danny, is that pretty much looking? It's, all, it's actually all done it, except for the um, fencing that's going right. to come up and down, which I, I don't believe they're doing I think the they're going to be doing this until the spring. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, the number seven is the resolution for approving the use to repair a, a, uh, the replacement for the town hall boiler. That has been a project. It's very difficult in America anymore to get parts or um, even a complete furnace. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just been difficult. So we finally located one, um, uh, a Well McLean model SG0-6. Uh, I'm really hoping it comes tomorrow because they had a peerless order yesterday, and I was told they don't have the peerless anymore, but they were going down to the city to obtain it. So I'm hoping <laughs> that they've gotten it and they're going to be here at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to put that in. Uh, resolution uh, revising town hall alarm system, the capital project authorization. Uh, we had gotten a grant for $12,000 for a new alarm system. We had waited till we had the new windows and the renovation work complete, the doors. Um, there's an extensive amount of rewiring that needs to be done, and um, we had gotten the grant for $12,000, and the project is a total of $22,000. Uh, approving, revising the funding for the Gardner Hollow Road Bridge Capital Project. It, um, the resolution lists the sources that, uh, for um, the total for the capital project, $952,443. It's bonds and other sources, $300,000. County grants, $100,000. $75,000, basically, we've already received. Uh, we're, there's a transfer in from the general fund of 2,443 in, 20, in 2021. We're transferring in from the highway fund, 50000 from 2022, and using 500000 of the ARPA funds um, as this is an infrastructure project. We are um, revisiting the renaming of the road in Atlanta Estate subdivision. And um, we have our payment of claims. 
that includes the payment for um, the Gardner Hollow Bridge, the Beekman Rec Ball Field, and um, returning the advance to the general fund for the town hall uh, project grants, and some, and then the um, payment of claims and the bills. With that, uh, I will open to public comment for agenda items. Leonard. My name, my name is Leonard Sherman. I live at 112 Bayer Drive. I try to make all the town board meetings and know what's going on. And I thank everybody who doesn't have a uh, ability to come here to, to be at the town hall should at least try to see the video either in the library because I assume they still have a copy of it there and also the town clerk is supposed to have a copy of it um, so somebody if they have can't don't have cable TV and they can't see it they can get a copy of it and watch it that way so I encourage you all to do that um, as far as the agenda items are concerned I want to point out the number five. It looks like there's a typo error. Um, it said 275,371.70, and then it says you agree to 257,371.70. Is that just a typo? Might be, so you might need a resolution for that. It's actually in two places it has that amount. Um, the other one I have was number less ten percent. Was number six. It's less ten percent, correct? And and um, maybe the rec can explain this, but I know you're doing construction on the ball field. Uh, my ball, my playing days are over, but I'm sure there's a reason why the project was approved. It'd be interesting to know, other than the vote, that they'll vote on it. Uh, so what is going to take place? Maybe you could expound on what they are doing. Um, so that the town residents know what they can look forward to seeing when they, when the season finally opens up. Um, likewise with number eight with the alarm system. I know they have an alarm system for the front door. I know it works because I was with the, with the town clerk and also with one of the town board members who actually had to figure out how to push the buttons or up on top to get in. But it doesn't, that resolution. That's not the alarm system, by the way. Well, it, you, when you made your comments, you said it's part of security. No, that's just the, put the panic bars, and it's part of the ADA system. Okay, um, I guess I'm just saying, what is the name of the security company that, that was hired to do this work? Because it's not in the resolution. <laughs> and then the last one is um, number 12. Um, and I read through the resolution, but at the end of the resolution, it says you are rescinding uh, 9, uh, 13, 22 9. And I don't know. I don't know how that relates to that resolution. Uh, maybe you can explain that a little bit clearer to, to everybody. And that's it. So that's resolution 10, and okay. it's correcting a prior resolution. 913229 they um, wanted the name differently than what the previous resolution stated so it's just a correction so it should not be exceeded so these two are reversed so that 275 should be kept should be these also. Okay, so we have them correct there, so we can receive. <coughs> Number five on the first, on the here. second paragraph, the amount is two seventy five, three seventy one seventy. Mm -hmm. Then when you go down to the what is it, the fifth paragraph. It says two five seven. That should read two seven uh, five so also. Okay. And in the last, and the last paragraph should be two seven five three seven one seventy also. Right. So reverse. Yeah, yeah the, the last two, the the five and the seven, we reverse. Okay. Werner. 
short. <coughs> Whereas Town Clerk Lorraine Abitantawano has provided copies of the minutes of the December 7, 2022 Town Board meeting to all members of the Beacon Town Board, and whereas Town Board members have had the opportunity to review said minutes, now therefore be it resolved, the Town Board hereby accepts the minutes of the December 7, 2022 Town Board meeting. I'll second that. Town Board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Stiegler? Aye. Councilman Balmini? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. And Supervisor Kibuchi? Aye. Resolution passes. Resolution to renew the uh, membership of the work, Workers' Comp. <coughs> we resolve that the Town of Beekman hereby elects, pursuant to Subsidy Division 3A of Section 50 of the Workers' Compensation Law, to become a self insurer as to workers' compensation claims against this municipality with the NYSM WCA, and be further resolved that pursuant to Section 50, Subdivision 3A of said workers' compensation law, notice of such election shall be filed forthwith with the chairman of the workers' compensation board self-insurance section and be further resolved that this election shall become effective January 1st, 2023 and accept for a term of two years and an annual premium of $45,373. Now, sir. Town board discussion. Just about the only thing that went down for 2023. Yeah. So that was a good thing. Okay, roll call vote. Councilman Stiegler? Aye. Councilman Bellini? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. And Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas it is recommended best practice of the GFOA advertising, uh, ad advising local governments to adopt internal policies and procedures governing the annual budget process, and whereas it is the town's objective to define the proper procedures for budget preparation and administration. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Town Board of the Town of Beekman hereby adopts the attached Town of Beekman budget preparation and administration policy to be effective immediately. I'll second. Town Board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benamini? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Kibuchi? Aye. Resolution passed. Whereas New Year's Day is a holiday observed by the Town of Beacon employees, it falls on a Sunday this year. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town of Beacon will celebrate New Year's Day 2023 on Monday, January 2nd, 2023. Town Board discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Dalini? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Kabuchi? Aye. <coughs> Whereas the town of Beekman is a party to a contract with OCS Industries Inc., the contractor, for the project known as the Gardner Hollow Bridge Project, and whereas the contractor has submitted an application and certification for payment number three, dated October 31, 2022, for the amount of $538,431.86, less 10% retainage of $53,843.19, less previous payment totaling $219,216.97 for a total of $275,371.70. See attached. And whereas the contractor has requested full or partial payment of the items on the continuation sheet that is attached to the payment request application covering the period of October 1, 2022 through October 31, 2022. And whereas the town engineer has reviewed the request and agrees with the quantity of work completed per the continuation sheet, and therefore recommends the town board authorize payment to OCS Industries Inc. in the amount of $275,371.70 in order to satisfy application and certification of the <coughs> Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board hereby authorizes the supervisor to the town of Beekman to make payment to OCS Industries, Inc., as requested in application and certification for payment number three in the amount not to exceed $275,371.70. I will second it. Town board discussion. Hearing on roll call vote. Councilman Stiegler? Aye. Councilman Ballini? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay. This is a re resolution to approve the uh, payment for the ball field project. Whereas the town of Beekman is party to a contract with Sports Tech Construction Corporation, the contractor for the Beekman 
recreation baseball field, one project. And whereas the contractor has submitted an application and certification for payment number two dated November 18, 2022, requesting payment in the amount of $100,500, less 5% retainage of $5,025, less previous payments totaling $30,875, for a total of $64,600 see attached. And whereas the contractor has requested full or partial payment of the items on the continuation sheet that is attached to the payment request application, covering a period of August 4, 2022 through November 11, 2022, and whereas the town engineer has reviewed the request and agrees with the quantity of work completed per the continuation sheet, and therefore recommends the town board authorize payments to Sport Tech Construction Corp. in the amount of $64,600 in order to satisfy application and certification number two. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board hereby authorizes the supervisor of the Town of Beekman to make payment to Sport Tech Construction Corp. as requested in application and certification for payment number two in the amount not to exceed $64,600. Town Board discussion? This uh, refers to a project. They're replacing all of the uh, fencing around one of the ball fields. We, there were two prior resolutions on this, one putting it out to bid and one accepting the bid in the past. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Stiegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor Cabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town board approved the emergency replacement of the town hall boiler, in resolution number 1115-22-10. And whereas the town has received competitive proposals and awards the replacement to Folks Home Services for $23,533. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board hereby authorizes the emergency use of the town's repair reserve fund not to exceed $25,000 pursuant to GML 6D and be it further resolved that the bookkeeper is authorized to transfer such funds from the re repair reserve fund during the 22, the 2022 fiscal year of closing. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Stiegler? Aye. Councilman Bellamy? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor Capucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town previously approved a project for the security system at Town Hall to safeguard the building and records against fire and or burglary, and whereas the town has received a DASNY grant in the amount of $12,000 to be used to offset the cost of the alarm system, and whereas the town has received proposals in accordance with the town's procurement policy for the project exceeding the grant amount, now therefore be it resolved that the town board hereby approves new total funding for the project in the amount of $22,000 with a transfer from the general fund of $10,000. I'll second. Town board discussion. Again, that was discussed at a, a, another resolu a prior resolution where Doyle Security was awarded um, the um, project to complete the security system for town hall. It includes the fire and smoke alarms, rewiring completely new boxes, and um, the security system. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. And Supervisor Gallucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town board of the town of Beacon previously approved funding for the Gardner Hollow Road Bridge capital project totaling $952,443 in resolution number 051022-4, and whereas the town has reviewed the status of funding sources for the project, which now needs revision. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Beekman hereby approves the revised total capital project $952,443 funding sources to be as follows. Bonds and other sources, $300,000. County grant, $100,000, $75,548 received to date. Transfer in from the general fund, $2,443 in 2021. Transfer, transfer in from highway fund, $50,000 in 2022. 500,000 ARPA funds in 2022. I'll second it. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Seeler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. 
Uh, this resolution is to rename or name a road in Elena, Elena Estates, subdivision. Whereas pursuant to Town Law 64-9, the Town Board has the authority to name new roads in the Town of Beekman. And whereas Dutchess County has adopted a local law which provides for the approval of proposed road names by the Dutchess County Enhanced 911 System Response Program to avoid duplicate and similar sounding road names in Dutchess County. And whereas the developer for Elena subdivision has requested Elena Way as a proposed road name for approval by Dutchess County Enhanced 911 and the Town Board, and whereas the Dutchess County Enhanced 911 Response Program has approved the use of Elena Way for the new road name, now therefore be it resolved, the Town Board hereby designates a highway, the highway in the Elena State subdivision, which is offered for dedication to the Town of Beekman as Elena Way, and be further resolved that the town clerk is directed to provide a copy of this resolution to the Dutchess County Real Property Tax Services, and be further resolved that this resolution shall not act in any way as an acceptance of the offer of dedication for the proposed road in the Elena Estate Subdivision. Be further resolved that resolution 9-13-22-9 is hereby rescinded. Council. Town board discussion. Hearing. That was the one that was rescinded. Because we changed it. We they, they wanted a different option. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's fine. Okay. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Bellini? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Bellucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the bookkeeper has audited and approved claims pursuant to section 119 of town law as set forth in the attached abstracts, be it resolved that the payment, therefore, is hereby authorized as follows. Claims to be paid from the A general fund, $85,086.53. Claims to be paid from the highway fund, $22,274. Claims to be paid from the SS Dover Road <coughs> Fund, $9,737.51. Claims to be paid from the SS Dover Ridge Water Fund, $11,348.48. Claims to be paid from the T-Trust and Agency Fund, $18,126.85. Claims to be paid from the H-Capital Fund, $428,870.70. For a total of $575,444.07. Payroll number 25 paid on 12-8-22. General Fund, $31,031.39. Highway Fund, $19,677.97, for a total of $50,709.36. I'll second. Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Stiegler? Aye. Councilman Aye. Councilwoman Norman? Aye. And Supervisor Capucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Thank you. Okay. Does anybody have anything extra that they wanted? No. No? Okay. Um, our next board meeting is the reorg meeting Tuesday, January 10th, 2023 at 7 p.m. At the moment, we're going to continue to say we're having it at the REC, hoping that um, we will be able to uh, switch over to town hall if the new boiler gets put in. Um, we are going to um, go into executive session in a few minutes, so we won't be ending um, the meeting. Um, we're not going to be taking any action in executive session and we'll come back. Unfortunately, um, here we don't have an option of going to another room. So if anyone wants to come back just to hear us close the meeting, because we're not going to take any action, um, you'd have to step outside and when we're finished in executive session, we'll ask you to come back. But um, at that point, all we're going to do is conclude the meeting. Uh, but at this point, um, I'm going to invite Bill Crane wanted to speak. <coughs> Bill Crane, 254 Gardner Hollow Road. Thank you for putting fixing the bridge. Boy, that was heavy equipment that came in there. Um, I also want to thank the town for moving along the project on uh, Depot Hill Road, the, the Great Hollow subdivision 
this will preserve a, a tremendous amount of open space and um, the, uh, it help protect nature and wildlife and, um, and the rural character of our town. It's really great that uh, this is going forward and thank the board. They've for, worked on that for five years. Yes. That's, that's good news. I know, and you yeah. guys completed it. We completed it, and it's not off the tax roll. It's even more exciting. Yeah. So. <laughs> and so, uh, th th I think it's great. There are um, also, uh, talking around the town, there are meetings and, and so forth, there are two properties that seem uh, vulnerable that would be beautiful to protect. And those are on Route 216. One is the uh, where the flea markets are. And the other is the expensive, beautiful uh, sugar maple farm. Uh, I wondered if the board could explore ways of, of preserving some of this open space. It's, um, it, it's, it's uh, in the long run, it will really increase the value of our town and be open, uh, help bring in tourism and, uh, and make it a, keep it a, a really beautiful place and make it a nature trails and all kinds of nice things there. Uh, sometimes people think, well, you know, let's let development occur. But if, uh, a model for this is Central Park. If, uh, if Manhattan hadn't preserved Central Park, uh, it probably would have turned into one big ghetto. And, and with Central Park, there, I mean, the property is out, of, the values are out of sight because of the park is beautiful and, and they have a bit of nature in Manhattan and it made it the most beautiful. Uh, you know, it's in all the movies and everything. It's just uh, wonderful. And, and uh, if we could, you know, I'm trying to make a pitch to try to preserve the open space that we can. Merry Christmas and happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the town board would like to also wish everyone a happy Hanukkah. And we wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a new year filled with many blessings for everyone's family. So at this point, if I'm going to call going into executive session, if people want to leave, feel free. Uh, well, actually, everyone has to leave. <laughs> and then you can feel free to come back if you care to. So um, I make a motion to go into executive uh, session to discuss potential litigation. All in favor? Aye. Okay.